this is going to be a big challenge because it is so hot in here I can't open a window up because it's like raining so this may go down all right hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be pretty much all about my carry-on I'm gonna I'm on a stool, but I'm squeaking so much today. I've never done a video like this before. I've seen so many YouTubers do a video like this where they talk about all the things they bring on their carry-on, um, which I think is really important for someone that hasn't really traveled at all or hasn't traveled a lot. Um, I think it's, it's a good little guide. It definitely, I had no idea the amount of things that I didn't realize you could bring or you should bring or are essential. So this is gonna be a really interesting video. I watched so many other carry-on videos and I love them. Um, so I hope that you enjoy watching this. It's like 23 degrees today in Bristol. and oh, I'm just gonna have to strip, I'm sorry guys. Just to give you an idea why I have my carry-on, um, I'm going to New York tomorrow. Um, this video won't be up until after New York possibly, which will be in about a week or two time. Um, so I have been packing for the past fortnight, uh, which for me is good, that usually is about a month. But uh, I've been packing quite a fair bit because I'm not sure what to bring and I hadn't got a few things that I needed. So this is gonna be an interesting one, but I am now fully packed and ready. Um, and I'm gonna show you what exactly I bring in my carry-on. This is my carry-on. Um, look how big, <laughs> it's so full. Um, I weighed this recently and uh, 10 kilograms is the kind of the maximum weight you can bring on your carry-on. This is only six and it weighs a freaking ton uh, so I'm impressed also surprised that people can bring a lot more than that I guess obviously another suitcase but hell that's a lot to carry anyway this is an Eastpac Houston I believe um, which has a bigger front pocket it's got tan bottom um, it's a lot thinner than most of the Eastpac backpacks um, just straps handle but the reason I got this one is because it has a laptop sleeve in it and also as well this would be something I'd be using uh, as I go around New York, I'm not gonna have a handbag because I have all my camera kit with me So this will be the essential bag for me to carry all my stuff in and it's great for the airport in the front And it's a great big pocket so I can fit a fair amount in there. I'm gonna grab all the things I see first Travel documents really important didn't realize how many travel documents you need for when you go away uh, especially to America um, So I printed off everything I need plus my passports in there. Um, I have my dollars because it's cheaper than getting at the airport. Um, I have a new purse which I bought recently. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed with like mermaid style shades of colour <laughs> but this one is from Accessorize. It cost me £10. It's got a zip in the front for all my coins and it's also got a compartment inside. Nothing in there at the moment apart from my uh, cards, my ID, uh, a Mac card because I might spend it over there um, and a little bit of change. So yeah, this one's brilliant and it's a nice small size. My original purse, which you might have seen before, which is a mulberry purse, is so big and heavy, I just can't comprehend carrying that around. Plus, all the cards in there are for like super drug boots. There's none of that in New York, so there's no point bringing it. And if there is something that is uh, in New York that is one of my loyalty cards, I've got it all on my phone, which I'll show you later exactly the app you need for when you go away. So yeah, that is my purse. I also have in here, this is my uh, vape uh, in my case. Um, I'm hoping I can take this on. I think so, but we'll find out. If not, I'll have to leave it. But this is my uh, vape. I think I have a new flavor at the moment, Spearmint. I have my glasses, which I think you guys have seen in previous favorites, maybe hauls. Uh, they're just very, oh God, they're filthy, but reading glasses, I get really bad, lazy eyes from doing editing, which is what I'll be doing on the flight there. So I have to wear my glasses. And I have, boo, two of these because they cost me like 15 quid off of eBay. I think quite a few YouTubers have these, if not similar ones, but this is a really good brand and I get on really well with this. It's got two USB ports and also the charging port. It holds up to four, if not more, charges and I've got two of them um, and the wire to charge it for. So yeah, I'm taking these with me because I can charge my small camera and my phones, phones <laughs> and my phone off of this. Um, so I've got these two with me. Also got, there's a lot of camera stuff in here. Um, this, I bought this recently because I go out adventuring quite a lot and the majority of the time like today it pees down with rain. So I've got a, okay I call these camera condoms. It's a massive camera case in case you're doing like a time lapse or you're doing like a landscape shot 
or you're somewhere like in the woods not that it's going to happen in new york but i'm taking this with me in case it does pour down and we want to go for a night shot and we want to take like a, a time lapse or something like that then this is going to keep my camera dry as hell i don't want to be damaging it so yeah i got these off of ebay possibly for like two for five pounds so recommend it keeps your camera in good nick bag because my uh clear bag has bits of stuff that i will be technically taking them around with me in the daytime. So I've got this one to transport all my stuff in. Just an Estee Lauder bag I got for free. I have sleeping mask with the flight back. I have my glasses. Now these are not designer or Topshop or anything. They are the cheapest ones ever because I love sunglasses, but I'm not a massive designer fan. Like I don't see the, the faff in it. Um, maybe some brands, but it doesn't really faze me to be honest. I'd rather spend shoes, spend money on shoes or cameras. Uh, so these ones are really cheap. They break, they break, but they're from Tiger. Um, they were like four pounds, but I'm actually quite enjoying these and they're comfortable. And if they, if I lose them or break them, I don't really care, but they're, they're all right, aren't they? So they'll do um, for New York. And then you can fit a lot into this compartment. And then we do have, uh, this is a smaller camera. So I don't have a smaller camera. I did used to have one which I used to record these videos on years and years ago. Um, but I, it's just not working. The lens doesn't open up, which is a typical cam, Canon thing to happen, especially for GX7s or G7Xs. So I don't use it anymore. Um, it's stored away. So my dad uh, offered to me his camera. So this is the Nikon Coolpix S 9600, which is a great little vlogging camera. I've yet to buy a new vlogging camera. I've only really got this big one here, which I'll be taking with me. Um, but this is just a really nice, easy one. It's plus, it's gonna be really good for like quick shots. Um, and it has all the sessions I need on it really for something quite nice and simple, but it'd be great for my vlogging because I can't imagine carrying this and the 24 lens around with me um, as much as Casey does. I just can't quite do that yet. Uh, I have got the muscle for it, but this will just sort me out for those quick and easy um, one minute kind of chats if I need to and in case my other one busts. So in the main compartment, it is so full right now. Um, this bag is full to the brim, but I like carrying all my camera stuff with me. I just get really kind of unsure and a bit worried that it will get damaged in my main case. So the first thing I grabbed is this, which cost me like eight quid off of Amazon. Um, it's just a, uh, I guess, standard tripod like a just a stick tripod don't really know what we call them a handle tripod i guess and um, this would be good for either my nikon or the canon if i want to kind of uh do a quick little uh, vlog on that one if i fancy it but this just screws into the bottom and you can just treat it like a like one of the arcade games i guess but this is just nice and easy to use if i want to it doesn't weigh much that'd be good to use i've also got my uh camera case uh no no particular brand but you can clip the camera to the actual case so you don't use the case um, and it's just going to keep my camera a little bit more softer and safer um, especially if I'm going to be traveling about quite a lot I want to make sure that it is kept well protected even though I did just drop this camera on the floor I did cry a little bit I bought these cases which you can get again off eBay Amazon um, I think set of three possibly for like eight quid um, they're just basically uh, lens cases that have obviously soft uh, material have a drawstring and they have a clip so you can clip it onto your belt or your bag as and when you need it which is ideal for when I do wedding photography it works really well for that because I can quickly get access to my lenses um, but I'm not taking many lenses with me so in these I have all my cables which is perfect for what I need for on my carry-on so in this one I've just got all my um, camera batteries and my camera charger in there I have labeled them just in case I forget what's what. Just makes me more kind of aware of what I need to pack. That's my camera one. The laptop one, so this has got my laptop cable in it, which I'll be using on the blink, because I have my laptop with me. This one does actually have a lens in it. Um, this one has got the uh, 50mm 1.8 lens, um, which I love, and it's gonna be really easy to use around New York, which is brilliant. Um, and the great thing is that I will be keeping my laptop cable it back at my friend's uh, apartment. So during the day when I have got my camera, my 24 lens that I have here, have here will be in this case. Um, so it's gonna be ideal. I'm saying this in like future tense, but trust me, this video will be coming up after New York. So just understand that I've used everything and I've been to New York, but you see what I mean? Okay. I wanna get the new one or like the actual branded tripod version of this. I think it's called like Joby, Job. 
you know what I'm on about. Um, but this is just a cheap one off of eBay for like eight quid. It's obviously not as strong and structured as the originals. Um, and it's got a very basic screw. So it's gonna be really easy for me to clip onto things, do time lapses, something that's gonna be just nice and easy. So I'm bringing this with, with me. And also if I am vlogging, I'm gonna use this like a Casey style and use it to hold the camera a lot more higher and better. Um, I don't see myself using it often, but it will be handy to have in case I do. I also have, and I'm running out of cases now, which is why this is just a little bag that I got from a free beauty box. But in here, I've got uh, my hard drive and my hard drive cable, because I want to be making sure that every night that I come back from being out in Manhattan or um, Brooklyn, I want to be downloading all my images and my uh, video clips so that they're pretty much loaded up and I can obviously watch my films on the plane as well. And then I have, oh, this is gonna be a, my laptop. Uh, I think it's a MacBook 15 inch. It's the smallest one of the MacBook Pro. Um, and then I have, which is a really big case, but this is my Eastpac laptop sleeve case. It's near prim again, so it's gonna be really comfortable and soft for laptop but it slides into a pocket into my bag perfectly so this is going to be ideal for me to use on the plane when I want to edit. I also have a uh, strap, I was going to say strap on, <laughs> uh, you know what I mean, a camera strap on, this is a wrist one so you pop this around the camera handle, you know what I mean and then you clip it on and it just keeps your camera basically glued to your wrist. Um, I do have the um, sling strap but that is in my main case, I won't be using it often at all when I'm going to the airport and from the airport to Emma's. So that's there for really for my day trips and my days out. But this is really handy. I love this, it cost me a fiver. It, it screws onto the bottom um, and then it clips around to the top and then you clip it in. It's really, really handy. I used this a while back for my um, Arcadia um, adventure where I went to see the Arcadia uh, night with the big mechanical spider. I had my camera in my hand and I had this attached to it so no one nicked it, I didn't lose it and I didn't drop it so really really good product. Um, I believe you can use it on other products like the Nikon I have has got a screw on the bottom so you can use it on that. Um, so yeah just have a look if you want to get one. And then last of all is this which will take a while so grab a cup of tea if you haven't already and we'll go through this which is really really important because it's got a few things in there that are going to help anyone who's anxious who's um conscious about their looks you know i want a bit of makeup on the plane and just a few essentials that are going to help you really get through that journey so i got these bags and i got i think a medium size no a bigger size and this is the medium and i got the smaller size uh, i got these in boots or super drug can get like a set of them for three set of three for like a couple of quid um, and I love it and it's gonna be perfect for obviously my carry-on because they can see everything so let's go through I've got in here this is just a bag of like tablets lip balm eye cream eye drops because I get really sensitive eyes um, lavender oil because that will be good for when I want to be calm because I do get anxious I am shitting myself about this flight because I'm not the biggest fan of planes big fear which after I come back from New York, I can tell you all about how it went. So that'd be a lovely little video for anyone who's a fear of flying. Um, but this is gonna help calm me down. Um, I've got in there uh, eye makeup remover, so I can set my makeup off on the plane. I've got a tampon, just in case. Um, I've got, what else, hand cream, tissues. This is just really essentials I need in case something goes wrong and I need a bit of help. But it's got all the tablets in that I need, like hand cream for tablets, the medium. I'm like a mum today, I swear. Um, and some Neurofin. <laughs> I've got everything. Just in case, I don't know what it's like in America with like tablets and stuff. Um, I've got my makeup bag. And this is basically all my um, makeup from my day bag with all my spare makeup. So basically what I take around me every, pretty much every single day, um, if not a bit more in there. So when I'm on the plane, I'm gonna take all my makeup off, I'm gonna cleanse, gonna moisturize. Um, do a little mask maybe and then I will put my makeup on uh, for when we land and it's got a little perfume in there as well so um, it's the essentials kit really so that's all in there and it's all mini stuff so things that I've got samples of like the perfume I've got a sample of like um, the benefit highlighter I've got a little eye setting uh, powder from elf I've got my sample from NARS my foundation sample and I filled that up now so every time I go traveling or go away or need it I'll just fill the little jar up with foundation 
Um, and yeah, just a few little things like samples really. So that's gonna be helpful. I've also bought my palette just because it's got my highlighter and also a blusher in there, which is what I haven't got in there. Plus it's really easy and simple and flimsy. It's from Zoeva, it's the rose gold palette, um, but it's got everything you need really. So that's gonna be with me, which is good. Obviously uh, anti-back wipes or cleansing wipes, just in case you need to wipe down or go to the loo and you're just a bit sort of self-conscious about bacteria. I'm not too bad, but you never know when you need to a little bit of help. Um, spare underwear, mother nature. You don't know what's gonna happen, so that's there. I've also got an American socket with uh, my actual plug already attached to it. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be handy so I can just put this in if we have sockets charge our phones and go from there. But I do have my backup portables just in case. Um, I have anti-back. I've obviously got a spare wire that goes with my portable chargers in my bag. Um, and these are the, I guess, I don't know what they're called. They're the, I get these from Amazon and they're brilliant. They do not break. Uh, they cost like four or five pounds, if not seven maximum, but they do not break. I love these. I will link down below where you get these wires from. They're by a brand called Anchor, um, and they honestly are amazing. I have not bought any new iPhone wires for months and months and months. Um, these are brilliant. I honestly can't talk about them enough. They are honestly really good. So if you need some new wires, these are the ones to go for Anchor. And then last of all, I've got a little charger head from Tiger. I think you've seen one of this before, but this is for my headphones in case I need to charge them up with my portable chargers. I can charge them that way. Um, but even though they last for a long time, this is really good to have just in case. I've got this, which I'm hoping I can bring with me. I'm not sure. I might have to pull it into my main luggage, um, probably, because it is flammable, I guess. But it is my vape uh, spearmint flavor stuff. And then last of all, which is this, which is new to me. Um, I will talk a lot about this a lot more. If you guys don't know what this is, it's just my case for my Lily Cup. Um, Lily Cup is a menstrual cup. Yeah, don't be weirded out by it. Everyone has different ways of dealing with their womanhood. Um, and it's more common nowadays to use menstrual cups. It's just a lot more better, safer. I will talk more about this on another channel once I've experienced it. So yeah, that's just my case for it, if you wanted to know. And the last thing I'm gonna show you, which is gonna be my phone. Um, the reasons why I show you this is because it is essential. Um, I'm someone who loves a list and I like to tick it off. I like to restart the list. I like to make sure the list is full. I like to break things down because in my mind, I just can't visually see exactly what should be in my bag um, and with the help of obviously um, Anna she posted on her YouTube channel uh, a PDF form of all the things that she usually brings and a little tick list now I converted that into my notes so on my notes page I have literally a list of all the things I'm bringing um, the great thing about the notes which I'll show you now in the little clip is that you can literally add little tick boxes so as you've got your list in front of you you can tick them and tick them off which I think is brilliant for someone who's really anxious about planning um, a big trip away and not knowing what to bring so this is a fantastic way of planning your trip abroad um, and using the benefits of notes on your iPhone so yeah that's probably the one thing that saved me um, and helped me and the one thing I will use when I fly back is I can just tick off all the ticks and restart again so I know exactly what is being packed. And that's it. That's mine. I think, I think, do you know what? I was really skeptical about this. I was like, shit, I'm taking way too much stuff. I'm packing like a mother. I just can't justify bringing all these things. But then looking over other videos and realizing that I'm gonna be staying at my friend's apartment. We're not gonna be staying in a hotel. So there's a little bit less luxury when it comes to products to bring um, and certain things that we won't have to bring I guess so in a way this I think this is reasonable I'm not gonna lie I've packed that bag probably about six times I've packed my um, main luggage about probably five or six times it's just not knowing like what to bring this is my first trip abroad uh, to the US so it's just a little bit scary and exciting and anxious Oh, it's my lie. I couldn't work out what was sizzling. And it's just the unknown. So I am so excited. I literally, this time tomorrow, I will be flying out as we speak. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Trust me, the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be showing you so many good vlogs. I'm gonna be doing a whole week 
if not a little bit more of New York vlogs and it's gonna be full of so many adventures and obviously my friends will be there as well so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time bye